elevation. It's more than rap. Elevation. More than how your money stack. Elevation. Move forward, no going back. Elevation. Now where you from, but where you at? I be coming through, bombing shit with no hesitation. Step into this booth, slay this beat like my name was Jason. Domination and preparation led to a new sensation. New creation is what you're facing. Now watch my elevation. You are now tuned into the Boxing Bros. I'm Caden. Trill Dollar Bill couldn't be with us, but he gave us some videos that we'll show uh, for some of these segments. And Complex is here with us. Introduce yourself, fellas. What's going on? This is G. And this the. I don't feel right going, uh, going second. It don't feel right. <laughs> No, no, hey, 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 wait, Complex, you got to introduce yourself. Uh, All right. Yeah. You know you know who it is. It's a boxing cousin, Complex. Just hit me up, 1-800-COMPLEX. I'm here. What's good? <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Why, why can't it just cut off TBE like that? Nah, because he said he don't feel... Yeah, it don't feel right. It don't feel right. All right, right. so I'm now you, you third again. Right. Go, ahead. Go, ahead. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And it's the TBE. What up, baby? I know I was here last week, but I missed y'all. And I know y'all missed me. We don't want to tell y'all what we found, Ned. We don't even want to tell y'all what we found, Ned, because he almost went missing today. That's the truth. Exactly. Mm. All right. Mm. Let's get into the first topic, <laughs> which is our reaction to Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. Ryan Garcia was able to stop him in the sixth round. Conspiracy G, what was your reaction to the fight? Oh, I thought we were going with Ned first. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. I, I think, I think All right, go ahead, Nate. Go ahead, Nate. He's going uh, to do man, this, this fight, I don't know. Ryan, what are you doing with your career right now? What are you doing? What are you – who are you fighting? There's so many good fighters right now, and you're choosing to pick up the slack. They're, you're fighting the slack right now, man. I want I want to see you against better opposition. I was a fan, Ryan. I'm still a fan. I'm going to stay on the wagon. But it's not it's what you're doing right now is not it. You're fighting bottom of the barrel and claiming you're the best. You say you're the best. We want to see you fight the best at this point. You know, we came a couple years ago when we we, we we were watching you, we were observing you and everything, and you were claiming to be you you showed you showed us light. You there was a all right, let me let me say this right now. In this division, there was a lot of fighters. And now we want to see these fighters fight each other. And then Ryan, you gotta fight. You gotta fight somebody. You gotta fight a killer. And you prove to you, you prove us that you're a killer. You gotta fight a killer. And you're not fighting nobody right now. Javier Fortuna, it was a good fight. It, was, it wasn't a good fight. It was you knocked somebody out. Okay, but Ryan, I want to see. You fight the killer. <laughs> Yo, Dad, I you didn't watch the fight. Yo, G. Yo, G. Yo, G. I blame fight. you for this, G. G. Fault, this is fight. your fault, I watched G. The fight. <laughs> I watched you the fight. didn't watch the fight, man. I watched the fight. No, no. You just listen. said it was a little <laughs> fight. I watched the fight. But Ryan, now, go ahead, Ned. Carry on. on. Yo, Ned, now. speak your piece, Ned. Speak your piece, yes. Ned. Go ahead. I want to see Ryan fight Kelly. No, it's tired. I'm tired of seeing what fight, fight dudes. And then he, he gets he gets by, but no, Ryan, we need to see you up against uh, up against competition, because this is not it. This is not it. Like you do claim you're the best, and you you fighting guys like this. I don't want to see it no more. I want to see you fight competition, Ryan. I want to see you beat the best. If you are the best, be the best. And that was a Pokemon reference. <laughs> That's crazy, but Pokemon, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. They gave Pookie a cartoon? No, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> Ryan, you got to do better. I want to see you do better. I want to see you be better, so you got to do better. And this ain't it. I don't like these type of fights for Ryan. It's not making them better. All right. You heard TBE. All right, G. Go ahead. I, I, I kind of agree with Ned, and I shouldn't, because I feel like Ned just hit us with a lot of BS, but it's whatever. <laughs> but to a degree, uh, Ned's right. However, based upon Ryan's uh, previous performance against To Go Plate, I thought this was a, a major improvement. However, Javier Fortuna, to me, was out of shape. My man was chubby in the middle. 
I understand with that 140, it should have been at 135. Yo, we chefing it up. We chefing it up, G. Hey, man, listen. Yo, hold on. What, how are we up for 20? Is he Cuban? He's Dominican. He's Dominican. Dominican. Yo, man, yeah. listen. Yo, yo, hold on. Assistant Chef Ned, give me a Dominican dish. Cause that's what we was eating yesterday. You know what I mean? A Cubano. That's what we was eating, yo. That's Bro, that's not, that's a Cuban. <laughs> that's a Cuban dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we was eating. We was eating. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, yeah, Do you Google? Hold on. Mofongo. He's in some Mofongo. Mofongo. Whatever yeah, that is. That one. Mofongo. 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 Yo. Mofongo. We yo. had some Mofongo last night. We yo, listen. It up. This dude, Javier Fortuna, is to me. It's like you're shorter, and you don't have the uh, the reach. Ryan showed that he was much faster, you know. Now, I'm going to say um, the positives before I talk about my negatives. Ryan was much faster. Ryan <clears throat> did utilize the right hand a lot. He also utilized the left hook a lot. And it was kind of, like, interesting because Javier Fortuna is a southpaw. And he just – he had no answers for, for Ryan. And then very few times in the fight, where uh, Javier decided to actually go for the attack, it was probably maybe twice, maybe three times you can see Javier actually throw a combination at Ryan. I think only like one time he actually landed, right? It was just a bad performance from Javier Fortuna. It looked like Javier was that afraid of Ryan. Now, Ryan did pull off the, the knockout, excellent shots, you know, especially to the body. That was cool. But at first, it seemed like Ryan kept going for the left hook. And I'm like, bro, like, Javier, you know that's Ryan's, like, go-to punch. So you got to know that it's coming, right? And then when Ryan first caught him to the body, then out of nowhere, remember now Javier's lowering his hands, talking about aim for my face. I'm like, yo, bro, that's cute. But we know your body's hurting right now. So... I thought that was like, eh. But in regards to performance, I can't really give uh, Ryan full credit because it wasn't like this was like a, a A1 Javier Fortuna. And not to mention, Javier Fortuna's not even an elite person anyways, you know, but it is a good step-up fight for Ryan for a few reasons. You know, the, the, the fight that Ryan had with to go. I think that was his first time with um, Joe Goosen, you know, so that was kind of like they're, they're figuring out something. But now in this fight, you know, I just have to say shout out to my man, Joe Jean Jacket Goosen. You know what I mean? Like they, they, he knows like Ryan knew not to engage with the guy. So he didn't make foolish mistakes. He wasn't like, I'm like, Oh, I got him hurt. I'm going for the kill now. Cause he did that with uh, what's that British homeboy? Um, the UK dude, uh, um, Campbell, right? Oh, Luke Campbell, Luke. Campbell. Yeah, he did that with Campbell, right? And so he learned I don't need to do that, especially with a guy that's shorter than him. One, two. Sometimes he'll do the one, two, three. Sometimes he'll just do the three, two. Like he had the the basic combinations, but his speed made it more devastating. It's just my man Javier just. He was like a punching bag. It was essentially watching Ryan hit a punching bag. I'm not even lying. It was just like a one-sided fight for six rounds, you know. But because of Ryan's previous performance was so bad against the go plate, I'm going to give him a little bit of credit for this fight, even though the guy that he fought didn't even take this fight seriously. He didn't make weight. It was clear as day. My man didn't have no six-pack. Looked like he had, like, the making love handles. He didn't really <laughs> come to fight. It's not like he really came to fight. My man probably thought Ryan was a joke. You know, Ryan is kind of like a cheesy dude. He was probably like, yo, before we were supposed to fight, you got a mental health breakdown because you know I was going to violate you. So he's probably thinking the same thing's going to happen this go around. But Ryan was actually prepared. So salute to Ryan to a degree. I'm still not impressed, but at least you made it more entertaining than that to go play fight. All right. Complex in the building. <laughs> All right, Joe. Uh, so I didn't see the fight because I canceled the zone uh, like two months ago. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm all set on the zone. So that's a whole nother conversation. I know that's another topic, but I did see the highlights. <laughs> we and... can get it. No, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I did see the highlights. Ryan did look good from his performance. Like, I think for me, and G just mentioned it, 
the the real X factor here is Joe Goosen. Um, when Ryan went to Joe Goosen, I thought that was actually a very good move for his career. I know that he was with Team Canelo and working out, and you know they were looking. He was looking good, but Joe Goosen is an excellent, excellent boxing trainer. He's been around for years. If you if you don't know Joe Goosen, you should. But look up his fight. Uh, he was cornering uh, uh, Corrales versus Castillo, and that's an epic fight. And you see him in the corner giving advice to his fighter to get him back in the fight. You better get in on him. I look up the video. It's amazing. Joe Goosen is an excellent trainer. And Corrales was, I believe, the unified or the uh, undisputed lightweight champion, wasn't he? You guys, if you guys remember. Yeah, he was unified. Yeah. I don't know. If he, he was, was definitely unified. unified. I don't know if so he, was he, has, he, has an ex he has experience with lightweight fighters. He has a history there where he's helped fighters get to that championship level. So if Ryan sticks with Joe Goosen, I can see them having some really good um, success together. So I think, you know, this is his second fight with Joe Goosen. I'm interested to see where he goes. Like, look, with uh, Fortuna, I think, like you guys mentioned already, Fortuna didn't come in in great shape. Uh, he didn't look very impressive. But Ryan did what you're supposed to do with that level of opposition. Mm -hmm. You know, you can cry about the opposition, but he dispatched him as he should have, right? He got him out of there by KO, and he dominated him. So that still shows that you're a levels above him, right? It's not just the fact that he beat him. It's not like he went 12 rounds with them and struggled a bit. No, he, he completely dismantled him, as he should. So that shows that Ryan does have a level of success. When you can see fighters dispatch of other fighters, you know, how you win matters. The way he took him out, shows that he is a, a upper class than what where uh, Fortuna is at. And Fortuna is kind of a middle of the road. I know um, I was I lost if I saw him in Jojo Diaz uh, and he lost that. Um, you know, I want to see Ryan against some uh, better competition. Obviously, the way the lightweight landscape is, it's a little bit tough because of contracts. Ryan is with the zone. Um, I don't know any other really lightweight fighters with the zone except maybe a Jojo Diaz. Um, but I know with ESPN, there's a lot of fighters there. I don't know if he can make a deal to get a big name or if he can work out a deal with Tank. I don't know if he's ready for that. But Ryan is ready to step up to the next level. Ryan has got the star power. He's got the look. And he can fight. And he's got the trainer behind him. So it's now or never. He's got to make a move. I mean, he can keep doing these kind of showcase fights for whatever. But, you know, fans need to see something. And also for your career. You're not getting any younger. You want to get into your shot at world titles. You want to get win titles, move up in weight classes and things like that. So, you know, I think it's time for Ryan to make some moves. Obviously, all the titles are tied up with Haney right now, going back to Australia to fight Cambosos. So, you know, if he can make a marquee matchup, there's some other big names in the division. If you could find another, you know, top three guy and 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 let's get it on. You can make a big fight. I, You know, the, the Javante fight, I wouldn't be mad at him for setting it up right now because you've got the juice behind you. Um, Javante's got the juice. Y'all can make a lot of money. You know what I mean? And it's it's a boxing game. There's no guarantees anything. You may not win, but you may you 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 may not lose either. So you got to go for it. So um, shout out to Ryan. Congrats on the win. Um, but you know, let's let's see you get up to the next level because you've shown that you can beat these guys at this level. You dispatched them. You knocked them out. Let, let's see some the top the top of the division now. Let's see what you could do there. All right, and. Although he couldn't be here with us, we have a uh, Trill's take on this. If it works, if it doesn't work, then, you know. But can you guys see it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's what Trill had to say. Yo, shout out to Ryan Garcia, man. That was an impressive win last night, man. Shout out to Ryan, man. Great job. Great job. Uh, shout out to my man Joe Goose and man, he had on the Canadian tuxedo with Ryan's logo on it, man. I thought that was dope, but you know, it's a good job, man. Last night, man, we had tuna fish sandwiches with Lay's potato chips and pickles on the side. That's what we had, man. Dominican style tuna fish sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for me. Ryan looked better than he did in his last performance with To Go. He utilized his jab. He managed the distance well because Javier Fortuna is shorter. He placed his shots well, particularly the speed on his jab and his left hook gave Fortuna big time problems in the body shot. You know, was the beginning of the end, and he finished it with a shot to the head. But here's what I would say when you talk as much as Ryan Garcia does, 
and you call other people boring and, and you don't want to give people credit, then people are going to be critical of your performance. And you're fighting Javier Fortuna and the fight was supposed to be at 135 pounds, but it ended up being at 140 pounds because Javier Fortuna couldn't make weight. And then when you see them at the weigh-in, Javier Fortuna has no six-pack. He has a one-pack. Where I'm from, that's called a gut. You know, he has, like, you know, no abs, and he is on the scale. Now, go ahead, uh, TBE. As you would call it, it's the six-pack under the fat. Are you hearing me? No, that's not yeah, no six-pack, bro. No Under the fat is a six-pack. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. But he didn't have no semblance of a six-pack. But here's the thing, right? It's comparing Javier Fortuna to the way we see him on the scale usually. Because it's not like this is some Johnny come lately. This is a guy we've seen in the ring before. And he normally comes in looking more physically fit than he did. Now, Ryan can only beat the guy in front of him, right? But that wasn't the best version of Javier Fortuna, if we're being honest. And another thing. Fortuna's style has never really been that great. Like, G, you brought up how when Ryan hit him with the body shot, he started putting his hands down and going. That's how he always fight. That's the way he normally fight. I'm shocked he kept his hands up as long as he did. And I think it was because of Ryan's speed. But I think once Ryan clipped him, he said, oh, this is going to be my last stand. And he tried to do that whole, oh, where, which way am I coming from? Put my hands down. And Ryan was just too fast, too slick for him. So it didn't do anything, and it didn't work. And he didn't have the stamina it looked like to, to give his normal punch output. To me, Ryan beating Javier Fortuna was expected because, like I said, if you know Fortuna, I never really liked this style. I, I, I think Ryan's a better fighter than him. Like Complex said, Ryan proved he's a cut above Fortuna. But so is everyone else. Everyone else we talk about who we say we want to see Ryan fight, they're a cut above Javier Fortuna too. Jojo Diaz beat uh, Javier Fortuna, and we just saw Devin Haney beat Jojo Diaz, the winner. We also saw Devin beat George Cambosis. We saw George Cambosis beat Teofimo Lopez. We saw Teofimo Lopez beat uh, Vasily Lomachenko. You see all these names I'm naming, these six degrees of separation. Ryan, you're not in any of it. Your name's not in any of it. See, that's the difference. Well, that's what that's what we're talking about. You know, even even Tank, you want to call out Tank, but Tank stopped Barrios. Barrios went 12 with uh Keith one time Thurman. Like, where's your opponent where we can say something like that about you? See, that's that's where things are coming in. And the other thing I would say for Ryan is I thought it was a good performance. Ryan's up and coming. I don't want to take anything away from Ryan, but you got to stop taking unnecessary shots at Canelo. Like, oh, people didn't believe in me, said I didn't take it seriously, blah, blah, blah. Yo, <clears throat> let me tell you something. Like, you're not fighting Canelo. You're not fighting Eddie Reynoso. Despite what you may feel, those dudes don't have it out for you, man. I bet you they're happy you won despite how crazy you are because to be a mentor is to have to motivate someone mm -hmm. right and sometimes when you motivate someone you have to tell them what they don't want to hear because it's what they need to hear in that moment i'll give you an example like some coaches do that to their players right um for example a coach will tell a player you're never going to score a thousand points this season you don't shoot well enough. You don't do this. The player gets mad, works their tail off, comes in, scores a thousand, and goes to the coach like, "Ha, oh, what do you got to say now?" The coach is like, "Thank you for winning me games." <laughs> got him, mm -hmm. right? There's this movie where uh, Robert Duvall and um, I think that's his name, Robert Duvall and Robert Downey Jr. It's called The Judge, and right, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is the judge's son, and Robert Downey Jr. was a troubled kid. So his dad put him in certain like homes and, and, and put him in certain positions that he didn't appreciate. And so his whole life after that, Robert Downey Jr.'s character uh, set out to be the greatest attorney ever. 
and he became one of the, the best attorneys and everything. And he hated his dad for it. And then they were sitting down and his dad was basically in his last days. And he said to his dad, and he said, and you did this to me. You did that to me. And you put me in this position. And you put me in that position. But look what I've become. And his dad basically was like, you're welcome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're welcome. You could have been a kid who got arrested. You could have, you were going down the wrong path. And now look at you. And it was in that moment that Robert Downey Jr.'s character realized, damn, he saved me. So, Ryan, as much as you want to brag about your performance, that was good. And if what they told you is what motivated you to look as good as you did last night, they told you the right thing. All right. So, since children, I'm going to close us out. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Some of you don't subscribe, which is cool, but I know because like, that's like 60% of the people who watch us don't even subscribe. Like the video. We get lots of views. We don't get half the, the likes as the views we get. It's all good. We don't really come at you for it. That, that's not what it is. But I'm just saying it doesn't take much to do that. Like, share, and subscribe. And we're just getting started. It's the Boxing Bros. Short dollar bill. Salute. All right.